with Travers Gourmet, and today we're going to talk about bread storage and reheating. So, if you've gotten a loaf of bread from us or another uh, bakery or, or online provider, then hopefully you're enjoying your bread within a couple of days. But if you're not, then you can put it in the freezer and store it for up to three months and then pop it in the oven and it'll be just as delicious as the day it was baked. We'll talk about that, but first I want to talk about storing bread for um, short term. So if it comes in a plastic bag such as this, and here we have manna seed from Pleasanton Bakery. Um, and if it comes in a, a bag like this, what you want to do is take it out of the bag. When you leave it in the bag, it uh, retains moisture, and so the crust will become soggy. So you just want to take it out of the bag and store it in a good old-fashioned paper bag. That's assuming you don't have a bread box, as many of us don't. And if you do have a bread box, that's optimal because it's a cool, dry place and uh, lets it breathe. And that's the key in keeping it in a paper bag. It allows the bread to breathe. So if you're going to eat it in a few days, this is the way to do it. And that is if you can uh, make it a few days without devouring it. Okay, so if, on the other hand, you are going to keep it for more than a few days, then what you can do is take the entire loaf, or take half of a loaf, and put it in a Ziploc bag. Now, this one is frozen, and it's only a single bag, but I would actually recommend putting a double bagging it, or wrapping it in saran wrap and, and getting the air out. But we knew we were going to be eating this uh, within the week, so hence the single bag. And of course, you can feel free to double bag it because you can uh, reuse these bags as many times as you want, rinse them out and let them dry, and um, they're as good as new also. So that's all you do um, to store it, and like I said, you can store in the freezer for up to three months. And then when you're ready to eat it, it is super simple. All you do is with, set your oven, you preheat it to... 350 degrees, and once it comes to temperature, uh, take it from the bag and either put it directly on the rack, or we like to use a stone. Uh, we're fans of making pizza, hence we have a, a pizza stone, and we find that works really well when reheating bread also. So, once it comes to temperature, pop it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes, bring it out. Voila, it's good to go. Uh, you'll find with especially Pleasanton bread, since it's a denser, heartier bread, that it'll definitely be more towards the, the 45 minute end. Okay, so about 40 minutes has elapsed and the timer has gone off and we're ready to get the bread out of the oven. Okay. And tonight we're doing the golden wheat from Pleasanton Bakery, and we're super excited because it's tomato season here in Northern Michigan, and so we've got a gorgeous tomato that we're gonna slice, we've got some bacon that we've cooked up, and we're gonna put it on some slices of Pleasanton bread, and you can hear now the crust has come back to life, and it's ready to go, so I'm gonna slice into this loaf. and it's absolutely perfect. Crispy crust, soft on the inside. So 40 to 45 minutes, 350 degree oven, and you're able to take a loaf from freezer to table to delicious and um, enjoy. So thanks a lot. That's how um, about how to store and reheat bread. Thank you.